hello 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 how are you guys doing welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is simply grace and if you're not new here welcome back if you clicked on this video it's definitely because you read the title today i will be showing you a long lasting smooth flawless base this is what i have been using to just get this really beautiful smooth vibrant and glowy but not oily looking base so if you guys want to see how i got this definitely keep on watching also before we get into the video if you haven't already definitely subscribe down below it is free and you get to join my family here on youtube also give me a thumbs up if you can i really appreciate it all right guys so today like i said in the intro i want to show you guys a couple of tricks that i've come across that have really helped me with my skin and when it comes to makeup like for my base to look amazing so i really want to show you guys a couple of tricks that i've found um i am going to go ahead and show you guys what i've been using lately literally this is my go-to this is what i've been using when i've been wearing makeup so and i know for a fact it looks good because every time i do this combination everyone is asking me what did you do your skin looks so smooth so flawless no pores why do you look like you're glowing but you're not greasy so let me let me put you on because i need to share my secrets so i don't like gatekeeping i really really don't i don't like when people gatekeep it kind of upsets me when people gatekeep i just don't understand why i like to see everyone winning you know what i mean the first one is definitely do your skincare please do your skincare you don't have to follow my skincare whatever works for your skin definitely do that it is extremely important to exfoliate to cleanse to tone to moisturize wear that spf ladies wear the spf all in all taking good care of your skin is going to help your makeup look bomb the better you treat your skin the better it's going to look so that's always very important i want you to really pay attention to your skincare as the first step the main thing that i have been doing that i really noticed did change a lot was i have been spraying my face with a dewy face mist so i'll spray the face mist first and then i'll prime so this is the face mist i have been using this is the patrick ta major dewy milk mist you don't have to have this exact one but this is the one that i have been using if you want some affordable options um elf has a coconut primer spray uh when wild has a couple of primer sprays so definitely if you want to try drugstore options those are key ones those are super good so i'm gonna go ahead and shake this up and just spritz my face and i don't mean like make it to where you're dripping but moisten your skin i have rotated these four primers and they all kind of do the same thing i have three drugstore options and one high end um the one that i used the most this month was definitely the milk hydro grip this i feel like it's perfect it gives me that hydrated but tacky feeling to my skin to where it helps my foundation just stick and stay in place all day so this helps a lot with the hydration and the longevity of my foundation so i really like this this nyx marshmallow primer this for some reason it has like a hydrating smoothing type of feel to it i know i don't know how but it hydrates my skin but at the same time it helps blur out any imperfections that i may have like any fine lines or like pores this really helps with that okay so then i have these two primers and when i use these two primers i like to combine them i take the hard candy hydrating primer so let me tell you something this i have found that's actually a pretty good dupe for the milk hydro grip so if you can't get your hands on this one this hard candy hydrating primer is really really good like it literally is the same color and everything to the milk makeup one so this one's a really good dupe for that one and it works the same exact way um and then i like to use the catrice prime and fine poreless blur primer for today i'm going to show you guys the fastest but efficient way you know what i mean so i'm going to take the nyx marshmallow primer and i'm going to just take one pump one pump is enough for the whole face it has like this whipped cream type of consistency 
After applying my primer, my tip, my pro tip here is let it sit. So I like to go ahead and apply my primer after my skincare, my moisturizers, my SPF. I like to apply my primer after that. And then I go and do my eyebrows. So I'm going to go and do my eyebrows and maybe some eyeshadow and I'll be right back and I'll show you guys the rest of my skin base. All right, girl, I am back. So if you want to see how I did this eye look, go check out my TikTok. I did the look there but um i'm gonna go ahead and go through the rest of the steps with you guys on how to do your base um i always use a damp beauty blender always i love using a damp beauty blender over a brush it just seems to be more skin like and it blends your foundation a little bit better than a brush in my opinion so lately the foundation that i have been really loving is this one right here it is the l'oreal true match hyaluronic serum so i like to just apply minimal product where i need it on the forehead i like to apply very minimal product um but as you can see it's not that much and since it is a tinted type of moisturizer vibe it's not going to have a lot of coverage so if you do have stuff to cover you can always conceal those parts first and then go in with your foundation on top so i'm going to lightly blend that out everywhere and I'm gonna stray away from the under eye. I'm gonna leave that part alone. You just wanna take your time blending this in just to make sure that everything gets blended really well. I'm gonna get in between the crevices of your nose. So the next thing that I have been in love with that I have really found to help me with my under eye creasing as well as the method that I use to apply it, um, this is the NYX Serum Concealer. I got mine in the shade beige. I use less than one pump with this concealer and I'm going to take this flat paddle brush and I'm just going to use that to put it in the areas that I really need it. Having a method on how you apply your products is definitely a must. It really helps with how much product goes where and just really being able to determine how much you really use. This just has really helped me with like applying enough product not too much not too little just enough another tip that i have is mixing your your setting powders when you mix your setting powders you're getting benefits from others and putting them with the other ones you know what i mean did that make sense i'm not sure but that's what i've been doing and it has really helped i feel like these two are an amazing combination this is the maybelline fit me and this is the lasting fix banana powder this one gives me brightness and smoothness, and this one just gives me, you know, velvety, smooth perfection. So I like to combine both. I like to put a little bit of the Fit Me in the cap, and then I'll go ahead and add a little bit of the banana powder. And before I go ahead and use that, I'll go ahead and mix it with like a brush. I also like to keep my brush handy as well as my puff. I have fallen in love with the puff method the puff has really helped me just get the smoothest application possible giving your concealer time to set really just helps with how much coverage you're getting from it and before it has a chance to set into those creases you want to pat those out and set that girl i'll go in with my puff and i'll dab it off on the palm of my hand and I'll just go in and not necessarily bake, but finish setting the under eye. I also like to do that on like the forehead area. I just feel like it makes the skin look so much smoother. Yeah, I have been using the Rare Beauty Contour Stick. It just has made my life a lot easier to use this. I feel like it's very flawless looking. Like you can't really go wrong with that bronzer. I like to put it under the lips to give the illusion of bigger lips. Always blend your contour up, not down. You don't want to drag that down. Alright, so now that I've got all of my cream products on, I'm going to go ahead and set the rest of my makeup in place. And I'm going to take that same powder. Now I'm going to go in and do powder blush, powder bronzer. I know you've already heard me talk about these two products right here but these are literally phenomenal and super easy to work with 
for everybody. I feel like this powder is very versatile. They also have a deeper shade and a lighter shade. So I'm going to take the lighter shade and I'm just going to focus where I put the contour. Don't bring it down too much. I'm also going to use their blush palette. I'm going to take this pretty pink shade right here just to top the blush that I already have on. And I'm going to take this Makeup by Ariel and Morphe Collection A22 brush. It is a blush brush. So I'm going to focus on, on the top parts of my cheeks. It just gives me a lift in effect. You can definitely go in and cut out your contour. I like to take my powder puff, get some powder, and just snatch that up. I'm going to go ahead and wipe that off ASAP. And I'm not going to drag. I'm going to pat. All right, ladies, so we are so close to being done at this point. I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit of highlight. You don't have to if you don't want to. Um, I want to just because the look is a little dramatic today. So I'm going to go ahead and take this highlight from Revlon. It is the Daylight Glimmer Highlight. Super stunning. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that on like the high points of my cheekbones. A little bit into the eyeshadow. Right here on the temples. Down my nose. And lastly, I'm going to take this Rare Beauty 4-in-1 spray and I'm going to spritz my whole face. So if you're anything like me, I don't like to be glowy on the center of my face. So I'm going to take a little bit of my powder and I'm just going to set down the forehead a little bit. I'm also going to set down the nose area. And anywhere I have the pores, I'll go in and I'll just lightly tap over them to make them look less visible. So what do you think? These are the steps that I have been taking to get my flawless base. And honestly, it doesn't take me any much longer than it used to to do my makeup. But it definitely does last me a lot longer throughout the day. So my makeup will last me more than eight hours at this point without creasing, cracking, looking patchy in certain spots. Nope, none of that. So let me know down below. What do you guys think? As I look glowy where I want to, but I don't look greasy. You know what I mean? Mm, I just really love the way my makeup has been coming out when I do these steps. So definitely, if you're going to try them, tag me on Instagram, TikTok, wherever you do. Try my little hacks. I really hope that these tips and tricks help you with the longevity and how smooth your base looks because girl when I'm telling you my face looks very smooth the pores are pretty much diminished you can't tell I'm not lying anytime I wear this makeup I get mad compliments so definitely try them if you would love to have a smooth flawless long-lasting base but yeah thank you guys so much for watching today's video definitely don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already give me a little thumbs up also, leave me a comment down below. I want to start doing shout outs, so if you want a shout out, leave me a comment down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Oh.